I wasn't alive on December 8, 1941, but I have seen the History Channel reports of brave young men lining up around the corner to volunteer for our country after we were attacked in Pearl Harbor. And they lined up Democrat and Republican, conservative and liberal, north and south, and they put all their differences aside because on that day, everybody was American. And they understood that when the country's freedom and the country's future is at stake, you have to be united to win. I think there's a lesson there for us in 2010 for the Republican Party of Texas. We had our own political Pearl Harbor in 2008. And although things look much better for us going into this election, we have to remember that it was just a year and a half ago that we lost the House, we lost the Senate, we lost the White House. And the end result of that has been that I believe our freedom are the greatest threat today than at any time in my lifetime. And the reason for that is not a foreign power. It's not a military invasion. It's because we elected Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama, and they are moving this country at warp speed towards the left. We've already seen with energy that they try to control cap and trade. We've seen with health care a 1,200-page document which controls every aspect of health care. Next year, there are scheduled tax increases. And we, as conservative Republicans, understand that every dollar of tax increase is a little less freedom that we have because when they take the fruits of your labor, they're taking part of your freedom. We understand that what they want to do is increase government, where what we want to do is make government work for us. And we understand that government makes no law that doesn't limit somebody's action. And government spends no money that it doesn't take from us. Women of TFRW, our country's future, our freedom is at stake. Shouldn't we, like those brave young men in 1941, have Republican leadership that says we need to put aside our differences, we have a common good, we need to be united, the enemy or the Democrats, our overwhelming, overwhelming goal has to be changed Barack Obama, it has to be changed the White House, it has to be changed the House and the Senate. Don't we need leadership that says, TFRW, we want you to be involved. We want everybody to be involved. We're going to work with everybody. Let's put aside petty differences from the past. Let's put that aside for now. Isn't our country's freedom more important? I will tell you that there is no time when we need to do that more because I've seen what the other side looks like when they're united. They were united in their pursuit of trying to take over what we had, the White House. I am the only candidate for state chairman that has worked in a targeted Democratic state on a statewide basis. I've worked in Iowa four times. I've worked in New Hampshire. I've worked in Florida. I've worked in Ohio. I've worked in California. And I am here to give you a warning. I spent two months in Iowa. I have seen up close what a targeted state by the Democrats looked like. I worked two months there in 2008. They had an army of volunteers. They organized union, the youth. They have technology beyond what we're using. But most importantly, they had boots on the ground. Hundreds of volunteers working. We don't have a single fieldman. We're not organized block by block. I can deliver that. I've worked in 50 different campaigns. I started block walking when I was 14 years old, and I'm actually the only candidate that has run the phone banks, that has run the block walking. And as a businessman, I've worked and built a business of 49 employees. I can help with our party's finances. But most importantly, I would bring leadership that says, let's have a little different of an attitude. Let's have an attitude to understand that we're all in this together. Our freedom is at stake. We need to work together to defeat Democrats, to defeat Barack Obama. There's an old saying, attitude follows leadership. And my leadership will hopefully put us together united where we're not only working for our party, but we're working for our country's future. We're working for freedom. I invite you to join me. But whether Kathy Adams or Tom Leckler or I are state chairman, we all need to be together after this convention. There's too much at stake.
Thank you.